is me. I'm playing on chapstick. Hi! <laughs> um, it's Kyla Nicole and it is Saturday morning. Good morning! It's the day after treat day and we're just getting ready to go out. And you can probably hear Hank running up and down the stairs because he has to see where his mom and dad is. I am just getting ready. Dee dee dee. Just, you know, putting on some makeup and gotta do my hair. And then Kyle is getting ready upstairs. And then we're gonna go out. There's ice cream on sale and um, there's one place that I didn't try for shoes yet. So I'm gonna try that place and see. It's a Nike outlet and um, I think Depending, we might, we wanted to try 7-Eleven and see if they have any different um, ice cream flavors that we haven't tried yet. So we might go there. You never know. You'll just have to wait and see. And we'll also show you guys what we're going to eat today. So you'll get to kind of see um, the day after treat day is always low carb. And the mistake that we made before was that we would go low everything which is really silly instead of just dropping our carbs we would also drop our protein and our healthy fats so we realized that you can't just drop all your calories because you're starving yourself oh, what a concept so we now have been trying to up our protein and our um, healthy fats on low carb days. So you'll get to kind of see what a day of low carb looks like for us and then you will probably get to see some other stuff along the way. So I'm just putting on some, some makeup. I'll show you what perfume I used today. Um, I used this one. It is Betsy Johnson and it is Betsy Johnson by Betsy Johnson. Ha! -ha! So, um, that one is really nice. It's got like a spicy and sweet scent to it. And I decided to do, do that, wear that one today. Because it's nice and strong and, and uh, it will last all day. So, there we go. I'll see you in a couple minutes um, once I'm done my makeup. And, uh show you guys what our breakfast is and I forgot to tell you our breakfast we are never hungry when we wake up the day after treat day <laughs> we're always um, pretty full or just like content most days when we're eating clean we wake up starving <laughs> but on the day after a treat day we are usually not very hungry so we always get ready first and we try to replenish our water because we're often really dehydrated because of the um, all that, that excess sodium that we're not used to. And um, so we just are drinking our water, getting ready. And that's all for now, folks. I'll see you in a couple minutes. I thought you guys might want to see how my new hair dryer operates since we did a video for you showing my new hair dryer that I got for $30. Uh, first I need to put um, heat protectant spray on my hair because I like using hot things. And this one is Tresemme Keratin Smooth and it's my most favorite. So I just douse my hair in that and then a couple more things and then you guys can see what it's like. It is um, really powerful and I really like it and I wanted to get another one if Costco still had them on but unfortunately they didn't have them in the same spot when we went back but if I ever see it again I will definitely get another one. That was like the best deal I've ever seen on a really good hair dryer. And I have to put my Argon oil, or however you say that, argan, argon, whatever, it works good on my hair. And I just put that 
Okay, friends, I'll show you now. Just have to wipe it off my hands. It's weird, it doesn't make your hair greasy, but it makes your hands greasy, so. Wipe it. My brush. Do, do, do. And you, friends, can see my blow dryer now. Hold on. Okay. So there it is. And I have it on the highest setting for um, my bags, on the highest heat setting. And then I just put it on the first speed. See that? Look at my hair blowing around. It's pretty uh, powerful and it dries it really quick. I know I dry my bangs crazy, but I don't care because I fix them after. So there you go. Good, fast, beautiful. See you in a minute. Oh yeah, there's one thing that I never told you guys. And, no, this. I have um, something called polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's where you have cysts on your ovaries and you have a little bit more testosterone um, than most women do. And it gives you a lot of really attractive symptoms like um, hair loss and... Um, extra facial hair and um, that's you know thank you wax strips and it also like makes your obviously like your cycle irregular and stuff like that and um, it makes it really a lot harder for you to lose belly fat and weight in general but um, because I'm me I laugh in the face of that so yeah, see, look, hair loss, every day, handfuls of hair. Um, thank goodness I have lots of hair. <laughs> um, so I just, I wanted to share that with you because if there are women out there that are suffering with the same thing, a lot of women are overweight that have it. And it's, I mean, you get acne and stuff too a lot. There are a lot of symptoms that really suck. But just know that, yes, it is a bit harder to lose your weight. It's really hard. Like, my belly is the hardest thing for me to lose. It does go down with proper diet and exercise, but it is very hard to lose that weight. But don't let it get you down. There are a lot of women that suffer with it. And by eating healthy and exercising, you can actually control your symptoms. When I was heavy, my symptoms were terrible. Now, I don't get a lot of that. I, I do get some acne every once in a while, but like, um, and I do lose my, I do lose quite a bit of hair. But um, other than that, I've kept my symptoms down with exercise and healthy eating. So just know, ladies, like, whatever life throws at you, it, it doesn't matter. And, and guys, too. Like, I know you wouldn't understand these symptoms, but just know whatever life throws at you, you can just throw it back at it because you can overcome it. Don't let any of that get you down. Even if you have, it's short form is PCOS. Even if you have that or whatever else you might have, whatever health issues, it doesn't matter. You just, you control your life and you control what you do. You don't let anything control you. And that's what I'm learning and what Kyle and I are learning. So, you know, I deal with those. I just laugh at it or, you know, I just, I deal with it. I have lots of hair, so, you know, keep coming. <laughs> Whatever symptoms I need, I get, I just, I deal with it, and um, I'm not going to let that stop me, and I'm definitely going to be losing all of my weight, so no matter how hard it is for me, I will eventually get there, and 
it doesn't matter. I'll get through it. So just know you can do that too. And it may not be easy, but it's doable. There you go. See you. I'm, I'm going to eat breakfast soon because I'm like really hungry now. And I'm just going to use my hairspray. This, my favorite hairspray, um, I don't like those hairsprays. You know the ones, ladies, I'm sure you know about the ones where you spray it and then your hair feels like you're wearing a helmet. Um, well, I like like that flexible hold. And this one is really good. It's um, frizzies and it's micro fine mist moisture barrier. It's really, really good. Um, so if, if you need a little bit of hold and you don't want your hair to feel weird, that's the one to go with. So it's, it's a little bit ex more expensive than normal hairsprays. It's like $9, but it's totally worth it. So um, I'll see you in a couple minutes for breakfast time. Oh, look at that handsome boy eating breakfast. Oh, well, good morning, guys. <laughs> Let's take a look here what you got. Got some chocolate protein crepes with some cut up uh, natural almonds, some unnatural processed peanut butter, and some strawberries. And I'm going to put some no sugar added um, syrup on. Okay. That sounds delicious. You don't got to hate your low carb days you can make them tasty and yeah it's delicious um and i am having higher fat too but i don't get peanut butter here i'm saving my peanut butter for later because i only get one tablespoon um but i am having those protein crepes and everything else except for the peanut butter oh yeah yep and i'm gonna show you guys our lunch these are our lunches. Kyle's is on the left. It is chicken, rice, and broccoli. And mine is leftover mixed veggies. So it's broccoli, peppers, and carrots. And I think a couple cauliflowers with chicken and broccoli as well. And those we're gonna take on the road with us in case we get hungry and in case we're out longer than we plan. We always bring extra food just in case. Na 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 na! <laughs> I got running shoes. You're happy. I got running shoes and they don't suck. The ones that I showed you guys that I ordered online are terrible. They are um, the worst. They have no like shock support or ankle support or anything so that when I do hit training, my ankles and heels and everything really hurts. So those are going in the garbage. And I got two pairs of shoes at the Nike outlet for $200. So this is the first pair. And I normally don't like shoes with gray on them, but these ones are actually really nice. Um, and they're very, very comfortable. The heels are so cushioned. Um, they're really thick and I feel tall in them. They're light. Yeah, they are. And then um, there's these purple ones. Whoa. And they're, these ones also have like the cushioning. They have like cushioning in the arches, these ones. So that's kind of cool. They feel a little bit weird at first, but when you put them on again, then they're, uh, they're really nice. So they're so comfortable and I really like the colors. And I normally don't like purple shoes either, but you know, sometimes you gotta be different. So now, we're gonna go to the Superstore and get ice cream. We're gonna look, because we have very specific tastes when it comes to ice cream. There is a Haagen-Dazs sale going on though, so. And I, I love their brownies and cookie dough, I believe it's called. Yeah. Something like that, and it's really, really good, and I, and I want to have another one of those, or two. So yeah. We're so gonna go there. Back on the road, boys. Back on the road, boys. See you soon. Glad you found you. Thanks. I'm hungry again. Already? <laughs> yeah. The, did you hear that? That's our GPS. And her name is Lucy. I named her Lucy. You see. And I'm hungry again. And I just ate breakfast about an hour ago. And now I'm hungry for lunch. So probably be eating soon. And we're gonna eat Take those man. containers. All right. Thanks. Highway 7 West. Thanks, Lucy. Lucy. Um, 
Yeah. So probably, and we'll eat those chicken containers with the rice and the broccoli, you know? Uh, yep, and then we'll show you probably what we eat for snack later. See you. Hello. Bye-bye. Finishing up our lunch here in the car. It's not too bad. You get used to it. We've done it a bunch of times, eating cold rice and chicken and broccoli in the car. Oh, yeah, and one time, that it hadn't been fully defrosted yet, and we had to eat frozen rice and broccoli. Well, we didn't have to. We chose to. Yeah. That was the worst. That was pretty bad. <laughs> that was the worst, but... We're we dedicated, do. and you do what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. Do what you gotta do. So, we didn't find ice cream, but we found a lot of other really delicious things, and we'll show you later. I love... Being in Canada, it's really hard to find anything spicy, and I love spicy potato chips spicy anything so anytime a new flavor comes out i get it right away and this uh superstore actually had some flavors of chips that we hadn't seen in any other grocery stores we got um well we'll show you guys that we'll show you the haul after so mm -hmm. but anyways yeah we were looking for ice cream they had a really poor uh selection of ice cream but really good selection of some other stuff we found some cereal and some cool stuff so we'll show you guys after but uh who wants vanilla ice cream really yeah, and you like, eat chicken breast in your <laughs> car all day. Come on now, boys. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to make one more stop on our little uh, adventure today. We might hit up 7-Eleven and then... Uh, but for sure, after when we get home, we'll show you guys the haul. Bye, bye. See ya. Hi, guys. We went to... Uh, we tried to go to 7-Eleven. However, there's a major construction... Um, in that area and then we couldn't get to it and then we discovered we think we haven't been there in so long But we think it actually might not be there. Anymore. It might not exist <laughs> so um, But we did go to this one market called Central Fresh and we looked for ice cream there But they had the kinds that we already have so we didn't get any ice cream however, we got some coffee big one mm -hmm. look how big that is that's big only one. a large um we usually like the dark one but the last time we had the dark we didn't like it as much as the regular so um we got regular the last yeah, time yeah tim hortons two uh, times like like everybody i'm sure everybody's coffee shop has a dark roast now it's pretty popular but tim hortons it was good the first couple times but now we're back on the regular back on the regular yep so we're going to go home and we'll show you what we bought at the Supercenter, Real Canadian Supercenter, and then, or Superstore, Real Canadian Superstore. Something Sorry. Like that. It's something along those lines. Close enough. And you know what I mean. And then um, we'll, yeah, then we'll finish our video from there. But we just wanted to say a little bit about what we're going to be eating for the rest of the day. Like we said, um, it's a low carb day, so when we go home, we're gonna eat our coffee with some yogurt and blueberries, Greek yogurt, and then we will have, for dinner, will be a can of tuna with some low fat mayo, and then um, veggies, a cup of veggie sticks, like celery, carrots, cucumber, and then our last meal of the day is cottage cheese and peanut butter. And because it's a higher fat day, I have an extra tablespoon of peanut butter to play with today, half tablespoon. And I think I'm gonna put it in our protein shake, which we also have left. So we have quite a bit of food left still. Um, and it's always nice because I'm hungry again and we just ate. <laughs> so um, that's a good thing. So yeah, we don't we're, we we aren't gonna show you because it's uh, all our food because it's pretty boring food. Yeah, on the low carb you know? day, it's fairly fairly like we don't really eat for pleasure on the low carb day. It's well, we have some good things like peanut butter and our protein crepes, crepes are, are pretty good, good yeah. but otherwise it's pretty much just clean basic food. Yeah, yeah, your veggies, protein, lean protein. Um, our only carb was our lunch. Like yeah, the brown um, rice. was our was the brown rice, and then the rest of the day it's just protein and veggies, a little bit of fruit from the blueberries, and that's it. And of course our lovely coffee. Yep. And our protein shake um, we make with almond milk. Uh, actually, we have cashew milk right now, so yeah, that's what we're making. It with. Yep. So see you back at home, and we will conclude this lovely day. Do a recap of those pretty shoes. Yep, there's my 
two pairs of running shoes. They're nice. And then here's what we got from Zayers. Their cereal was on sale for $2.88. And I've always wanted to try this Crave with uh, chocolate in the middle. You know what? I've been having a craving. <laughs> I was waiting for that joke. <laughs> Look, crispy outside, smooth, chocolatey inside. Mm, I wish that I could eat it and smell the... <laughs> <laughs> we basically live. It was a cheat day yesterday, and we're already living and buying snacks for the next cheat day. Yeah, you just like food. Um, this one is this is like mini wheats with fillings in it. Never heard of that before. No raspberry flavor. So I chose this one, and Kyle chose this one, and uh, I'm gonna eat them both next Saturday. <laughs> Me too. I'm we're, probably gonna mix them together. We're gonna put them in our cereal containers. Me. Um, and we got chips. Now, Nicole, you'll be able to tell the chips Nicole chose because they're boring. <laughs> no, they're not. Thank you. Um, no, I'm just. They are two. I'm just joshing. If you, you bought three or more, they were two sixty six each, I believe. Kettle chips, New York cheddar, is not boring. Thank you very much. Have you ever had that kind? Would I have bought it if I ever had that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. And this one is Kyle's. You can already tell. Interesting. Hot. Good. Jalapeno. Mm. I hope it is really Do hot. Do you really care that your chips aren't genetically modified? They're chips. Yeah, you're eating junk food. <laughs> and dill pickle, friends. Now, this is an interesting flavor, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty good. Because I chose it. Now, you know, what I don't like is how... <laughs> get, get out of the way. <laughs> you know what I don't like is when a lot of products say that they're spicy or hot, and they're really not. And they're not. You know what um, we were talking about yesterday? Um, one time, I tried Tim Hortons spicy chicken sandwich, and that is the spiciest thing that I've ever had. Yeah, I it, didn't expect it to be spicy at all. It burned. I was almost crying. It was so hot. It melted the one side of your face right off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you see, it's gone. <laughs> and then sriracha chips. Now this is hot too, so let's yeah. hope. Somebody always picks hot. You Don't you think, friends, that if somebody chooses hot every time, that would be boring? Because you always pick the same thing. Oh my God. Yeah. Good I point. I can't wink. <laughs> Good point, sir. <laughs> oh, and um. What else did we get? I forgot about this. There used to be this Maxwell House instant coffee that was like half the fat and calories and stuff. And it looks like they came out with another one because it had gone away. So we're using another one right now, Hills Brothers. But this one is calorie-wise French vanilla. It's 57% less calories than the regular. And this one is three teaspoons. It's 30 calories, two grams of fat, two carbs, no sugar and like 0.3 protein so hopefully it's I'm, good i'm excited to Worth try a that shot. out yeah okay that's it <laughs> <laughs> i'm funny uh <laughs> oh look i got my new slippers on this oh, gets yeah. cold in here so you have to put slippers on right away you see um yes so we hope you guys enjoyed this video we're gonna go drink our Scalding really, coffee. Yeah, really hot Tim Hortons coffee. But good coffee. Really delicious. And yeah. we're going to eat yogurt and blueberries. And I, uh, I'm i not putting peanut butter in that. I'm going to put it in my protein shake. Um, yeah, so yogurt, blueberries, coffee. Have a good day, friends. See you guys. See ya. Bye.